Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen again. You know, I'm good at making sweets and baked stuff and candies and uh, casseroles, but I don't do a whole lot of side dishes. So today I'm going to share with y'all a really neat, different side dish, and it's a cheesy potato pie. So y'all come on over here to the booze block and let me show you what all goes in it. And we'll get it mixed up and in the oven and you'll have a brand new side dish to serve. Now I'm going to tell y'all something that I do. I'll make a quick copy of a page out of my cookbook because I've got some that's got a bunch of drips and splatters on them and I really don't like that. So I just make me a copy that I can work off of. This is a cheese and potato pie and you're going to need one unbaked uh, pie crust and y'all know I cheat and use the Pillsbury that's already made for me and then I roll them a little bigger than my pan and put them in there. You're going to need a pound or two cups of small curd cottage cheese and I have put it in the processor and just whizzed it till it's almost like cream cheese and that's what you need to do. Two cups of mashed potatoes that have been cooked, a half cup of sour cream, egg, salt, cayenne, green onions, and then some cheese for the top. So what I have to do is I have to whiz my eggs up with my hand mixer back here and then I'm going to add in the cottage cheese, sour cream, and potatoes. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I beat the eggs. I'm going to add in the uh, cottage cheese that I've already... Actually, I used my Tupperware Power Shelf rather than get a food processor or any of that out. So I've got that ready. Cottage cheese has so much protein in it till it's a wonderful addition to a recipe. A lot of stuff like potatoes aren't full of protein, but you can add something to make them a little healthier if you're feeling guilty about the carbs. So let me add my sour, uh, sour cream. Next I'm going to add my uh, potatoes in. And this is some leftover mashed potatoes. See, that's what's good. If you cook too much to start with, you can do it making plans to have um, another side dish later out of the same thing. So I'm going to add in a teaspoon and a half of salt and a few cranks of fresh black pepper and two shakes of cayenne. get my camera changed. Okay, I've got all of this mixed. My oven is telling me that it's at temperature. Um, I'm going to stir in a half a cup of green onions and I will give you all the recipe. And I'm going to add in this is Mexican blend, and I'm going to put probably a three-fourths of a cup of cheese in the potatoes. And the recipe did not call for cheese in the mixture. I just am adding it. You could put bacon bits in here, whatever. And then you just want to pour it into your prepared pie crust. Doesn't that look good? I mean, potatoes are good anyway. And then you sprinkle on the top, it says about a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And 
You can garnish it when they're done with some fresh chopped tomatoes. Um, I'm not sure what I'll put on it. And I'm not measuring this cheese, of course, so I may have a little extra, but that's going to make it yummy. I'm going to put it into the oven. Let's see how long it says it needs to cook. I don't remember. 425 for about 50 minutes until it's brown on the top. I'll bring y'all back in just a minute. I've got my June oven heating to the 425. So when it gets to 425, we'll get our uh, potato dish in there and cook it. I'll set it for 50 minutes and it'll sing me a song when it's ready and I'll take it out and show y'all what it looks like. Okay, it's reached temperature. Here's our potato and cheese pie. And I'm gonna put it in here and let it cook. And I'm going to set a timer for 50 minutes and let it go and it'll tell me when it's ready and we'll be back with a delicious side dish. My crust was getting a little brown so I put some tin foil around the outer edge of the crust. That's an option if that happens to you. Somewhere I have one of those silicon things that fits around the edge, but of course I couldn't find it when I needed it. Okay, my pie is brown on the top, so I'm going to get it out and get it over there on some trivets where it can cool a little bit, and I'll show y'all how beautiful it is. Okay, I'm going to let it cool to where I'll cut it, and I hope it comes out like a slice of pie, but it's brown on the top. It's going to be yummy. Thank y'all again for coming into the kitchen and learning another recipe. This recipe actually came out of a cookbook from the Shepherd United Pentecostal Church. And my friend Jean Vaughn is the one that put it in there. She has lots of good recipes. And um, her daughter, Michelle, is married to Jimmy Capps, who is the guitar player for the Grand Ole Opera. Y'all have probably seen him in a lot of videos or whatever, but anyhow, that's who Jean is. So I'm going to taste of this and let y'all know just how good it is. You're going to wish you was here with me. Mm. That's kind of like the goodie out of the best baked potato you've ever had. That's a great side dish. Good for brunch, whatever you want to use it for. You got another good one to try. I hope y'all will try some of the recipes, and if you do, please let me know, because it makes me happy to know you're using what I'm trying to teach you to do. Y'all have a, a blessed day today. Be careful. Watch your back. There's a lot of people out there that are not nice as we are. So watch out for yourself and your kids, and be the village, and look out for other people, too. I'll be back here in a day or two with another good recipe. And in the meantime, the good Lord bless you.